Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about fetal femur length ultrasound probe positioning. On the left we have a schematic diagram showing the fetal position in the uterus. This is the uterus. This is the maternal abdomen. This black box is the ultrasound probe. This red dot is the indicator or the orientation marker and on the right will be the image formed based on the probe's placement. We will be focusing on scanning the fetal femur. We will start with the fetus in a cephalic spine posterior position. Start the scan by placing the probe in a sagittal orientation over the abdomen. The indicator is towards the mother's head. If the fetus is in a cephalic position with posterior spine, this type of image will be formed. The fetal head will be seen on the right side of the image. The fetal spine will be seen in the lower half of the image. Identify the fetus in a mid sagittal plane. Slowly rotate the probe to a transverse orientation and move upwards slowly. This image is at the level of the stomach, so slowly keep moving upwards, which will lead you towards the fetal legs. When you start to see the fetal legs, try to locate the thigh, that is the femur. Rotate and angle the probe accordingly. You should get this type of image. These are the femurs. This is the pelvis. The femur will appear as a straight echogenic line. Try to image the femur in a way it lies horizontally on the screen. Then you can measure the femur length. Make sure the femur fills most of the screen, but don't zoom in too much. Adjust the gain, depth and focus to get a clear crisp image of the femur. This probe positioning and image formation are of a fetus in a cephalic presentation with an anterior spine position. After starting in a sagittal view of the fetus, the spine will be seen in the upper half of the image. The fetal head will be on the right side of the image. Next, rotate the probe to obtain a transverse view and move upwards slowly. This image is at the fetal stomach level. Keep moving upwards slowly to find the fetal legs. You will eventually find the fetal legs. Adjust the probe's position and angle gently. Try to obtain a good view of the femur so you can measure the femur length. Make sure to focus on the femur and keep it away from other bones such as the tibia or fibula. Adjust the gain, depth and focus to get a clear image. You may have to slightly tilt or rock the probe to get a good view of the femur. Always choose the femur that is near the probe for measurement. Do not choose the femur that is seen in the far field. This femur is better for measurement, whereas the femur in the far field is distorted due to attenuation from this femur and will give inaccurate measurements. Now we will see 
probe positioning for finding the fetal femur in a fetus that is in a breech position with a posterior spine orientation. After placing the probe in a sagittal orientation, the fetus will be seen with its head directed towards the fundus and its legs directed towards the cervix. The spine will be seen in the lower half of the image. Then rotate the probe to view in a transverse orientation. This image is at the level of the stomach. Slowly move downwards to reach the fetal legs. The femurs due to the spine's posterior position should be clearly visible as straight echogenic lines. Angle and position the probe accordingly to get the best view of the femur. This is the femur in the near field and this is the other femur in the far field. We do not see it very clearly because this femur is casting posterior acoustic shadowing which is affecting the visualization of this femur. Now we will see how to locate the femur in a fetus that is in a breech position with anterior spine. Due to the anterior position of the spine, the femurs may be angled upwards and may initially appear oblique. Adjust the probe's position accordingly and angle gently to get a true view of the femur where it is seen as a straight echogenic line. It can be difficult to obtain a horizontal orientation of the femur in some cases. So try to adjust the probe to get the best view possible. Now we have a fetus in a transverse lie with the spine anterior. When we place the probe in a sagittal orientation, we will get a cross section of the fetus because it is in a transverse lie. That is why we will get this type of image. This is at the level of the stomach and kidneys. The spine is seen at the upper half of the image. When you move the probe towards the mother's right side, you will find the fetal head. And when you move the probe towards the mother's left side, you will find the fetal legs. When you move the probe towards the mother's left side, you will find the legs. Slide or rock the probe accordingly. The femur may appear oblique. It may require some angulation and rotation of the probe to achieve a good view of the femur. This is a transfer slide where the fetal head is towards the mother's left side and the legs are towards the mother's right side. This is the image formed at the level of the heart. The probe is in a sagittal orientation, but the image formed is giving a transverse view of the fetus. To find the fetal legs, you will move the probe towards the mother's right side. The fetal legs might be imaged obliquely due to the transverse slide of the fetus. Adjust the probe's angulation and rotation gently and try to achieve a good view of the femur. This is a fetus in a transverse lie with a posterior spine. The head 
is towards the mother's right side and the legs are towards the mother's left side. This image is taken at the level of the heart. The spine is seen in the lower half of the image. To find the fetal legs, you have to move the probe towards the mother's left side. Adjust the probe's angle to see the femur clearly, ensuring it is not superimposed by other bones like the tibia or fibula. Modify the gain, depth and focus settings for the best image clarity. This is a fetus in a transverse lie with a posterior spine. The head is towards the mother's left side and the legs are towards the mother's right side. To find the legs, you have to move the probe towards the mother's right side from this position to find the legs. Slide, angle and rotate the probe accordingly to get the best view of the femur. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.